so welcome back to the channel see i know you guys most of you are here to learn sala soup recipe but come on wait a minute i have to do a little introduction because there's a face behind this channel welcome back to the channel and i hope that you're subscribed give the video a like and let's get right into it we are doing the washing of the asa fish okay then this is Poporoko. yes so we're running a mini uh cooking show today this is going to just be a day in my life because if you know this channel is not about cooking but currently i'm in my hometown and what we do every day not in my not my hometown i'm in my family home but what we do every day is right. cooking Cook. we cook we must cook every day yeah, so if i'm to do a day in my life yeah, on this channel it definitely has to involve some form of food or cooking or whatever right so today we are making the salad soup you know we've gotten a lot of things ready onions i know how i have done the salad soup recipe on this channel if you remember where i said uh making the salad soup for my boyfriend okay. cooking for the first time kini 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 let me take you out a little because you know one of the one of the things that are required for making sala soup is otazi right i hope i'm not mistaking it with Zaza again okay go ahead and pluck we've already plucked a few but let, i have to be giving you guys you know the full evidence that you know nothing like oh that beautiful yeah. white soup what does that mean why do they call it white soup mm. the term white is coined from in respect to wine yeah. by lieutenant Matt Luther. thank you yes <laughs> lieutenant guys Matt it is called white soup because... so this is um otazi and oziza oziza we're also using the siege we don't have this in my home okay but we have Otters. and this is from my backyard so the protein that we're using as well for today is some chicken so we're using chicken we're using a lot of fish so let us swing into full action where where are the chefs in this house so just to make sure that we are not everywhere crayfish is yazo asa okay it has leaves chicken this is oziza leaf, oziza seed. We are not using everything. This is yam, onions, pepper, salt. Okay. Uh, okay. Here is the chicken. Here is the goat. You are using hot water. Are you sick? Yeah, because the water is cold. It rained last night. Firstly, we are, we are um, going to heat up the protein, you know. Yeah. Okay. Onions salt so in this pot we are putting the this is your broccoli, okay yes this is cooking the fish then over here we have a broiler salt and onions is going to be our main seasoning more water okay you know you can see how it is this is what you have to grind it to <laughs> I mean, pound it basically. What is that seed? The consistency can be inconsistent. So you have to shake it up to consistent the consistency. Thank you. So we are, <laughs> so we are transferring. Yeah, I, I need you to see the quantity. Just so you know that salad soup does not require a lot of red oil. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, the CEO of Obis Kitchen. And I'm like, she talk the what's your name? What's your name? What you do? All I went off. Okay, kitchen chicken. <laughs> okay, it's time to cut the yam. You know, young man, what you doing over there? I'm washing the. Um, what's that? So after washing it, the next is to wash. Cut it into tiny pieces. Thank you. <laughs> okay, make sure you watch your oh, wash your veggies you. very well. Hello, madam. You're doing a great job. Make sure you're careful so you don't cut your hands. Yeah. For sala soup, the only thickener that you are to use is yeah. Okay, over to our young man here cutting up the 
Uh-huh. On cutting the old side, yeah. you need to tie the pieces. Now tie the pieces with that. He's still going to cut it all over again. Yes. Okay, well done. You're doing a great job. <laughs> so since our uh, the broiler is done, so I'm going to transfer the stock from the broiler to this um isok buroko so that everything will be in one pot. And this is the pot that we are going to go on to cook someone help me with the spoon so that i don't pour in my meat ah! stop the meat stop the meat from entering the pot that's why i mean thank you <sighs> so all attention is on this pot every other thing that we are going to be adding will be inside this pot thank you okay guys so at this point we are putting the otazi you have to put that small small so that we don't end up having excessive bitterness in your soup you see how our soup is coming together Ooh. did you see that color change oh yeah we washed the yam okay this is the thick now you know we have to put it in the soup so that it is softened before it's time to pound it just pour all of that in at once, man. Okay, thank you. What you do? What you do? You're eating. You're eating up more cocoa. Yeah, all be enjoying, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's time to put this. Let me do the finishing touches. I'm going to put everything in perfect quantity for the quantity of soup we are making. Pure, pure. Our soup is turning out perfect. Let me give you a, a quick rundown of what we have inside here. Salt, small red oil, onions, otazi, oziza seed. We don't have oziza leaf in here yet we still have a long way to go not really a long way but it's not yet time to put the ozuza leaf okay guys so the remaining spice that you know whatever ingredients for this soup is one crayfish secondly ozuza leaf by the time this thickener is pounded you know and added back to thicken the soup you know when it's getting thick and all of that that is when we we'll put yeah. the crayfish yeah. and the ozuza leaf okay okay pepper okay. here mind you ozuza has this peppery taste okay so if you're using ozuza for anything mind the quantity of pepper you guys a little steam yeah a little steam got on my skin so you yeah. see <laughs> i'm i'm being i'm being treated with um arom aromatherapy of the aloe vera you see you see why home is sweet we've got this is from my backyard okay this is aloe vera from yeah you see why mom is sweet and home is a uh, you know uh, yeah just here thank you i'm, I'm going to I'm gonna be fine. Thank you. You know, when you bring out the yam from the pot, okay, you have to start pounding it with all efficacy and aggressiveness immediately. Because if you let it get cold, you are not going to have a good picking up. You must need a lot of muscle to get this kind of. You know, oh, I've practiced a lot of. It's an exercise. What do you mean? One thing you have to do with your thick knife, you have to put it little by little so that you don't get your soup to be too thick. Can you see this quantity? This is perfect so that it can dissolve very fast. Let me taste my soup. Damn! You guys see that? Okay, guys. So I would like to put some more otazi. So everything that you're going to be using for your preparation is to taste. If you like a lot of pepper, put it to taste. If you like some bitterness of the otazi, put more. Okay. Time for first to put the crayfish. You see that? 
Yes. So remember I said to you put your thickener before you put crayfish and ozoza. So yes. this is time to put everything. Okay, so we need a bit of salt, you know, based on my tasting mm -hmm. results. Okay, guys, our salad soup is coming out perfect. So guys, once to add more water, you know, of course we're already adding water to the soup because we want to okay. increase the volume. You know, top up the water if necessary, add more thickener to it. You guys, in three, two, one, zero, let us unveil the products of Obi's Kitchen. Can you see that? <laughs> Can you see the consistency? At this point, the thickener has dissolved completely. So, the last thing to do now is to add chicken. the chicken. If you don't use this recipe to cook your salad soup, expect nothing better. Yay, our soup is ready. And I know you're going to be wondering why it's in a small pot right now. Yes, you know, that's how we do it over here. So usually we portion it um, into containers and we transfer it to the fridge. Then we keep a little quantity that we use the time. Okay, I'm going to serve this for my bosses in the house. You get what I mean? This is a delicious plate of swallow and open salad. You can see that? So, bon appetit.